Today on Sugar Spun Round, I'll be showing you how to make cowboy cookies. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, it's Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested, well-researched, and perfected recipe. Now, I'm not sure if you've ever had these cookies before, but basically they are a super hearty oatmeal cookie. They're filled with coconut, shredded coconut, and pecans, and chocolate chips, and they're just so good. I think you're gonna love them. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is get your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, you're going to need a large mixing bowl. And in this, we are going to combine one cup or two sticks typically of softened unsalted butter and one cup of firmly packed dark brown sugar. You can use light brown sugar in this recipe instead if you prefer, but I really like to use the dark brown because it has that subtle molasses flavor. It makes the cookies extra chewy and it just adds that much more flavor. So if you have it, use it. We'll also add a half cup of granulated sugar. Then I'll be using uh, my electric mixer, though you could certainly use a stand mixer. And we'll cream together the butter and the sugars until they're well combined. All right, next you are going to need two large eggs and two teaspoons of vanilla extract, and we will stir these in as well. All right, once you have your butter, your wet ingredients all nicely combined, we're going to set this aside, and you're going to need a separate bowl for your dry ingredients. I have two cups of all-purpose flour right here. We are going to add one teaspoon of baking soda, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Cinnamon is another key flavor that is classic to cowboy cookies, and it adds a really nice dimension to the cookies. Now stir the dry ingredients together until they're nicely combined, and then we are going to gradually stir the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients until everything's nicely combined. All right, next we are going to need all of our add-ins, which there are quite a few that go in today's recipe. We will start with two cups of old-fashioned rolled oats, add one and a half cups of sweetened shredded coconut. Because of this coconut, Zach will not even touch these cookies, which is fine because it means more for me. Also add one heaping cup of coarsely chopped pecans. I guess officially this probably comes out to one and a fourth cups. And one and a half cups of chocolate chips. And I like to use a blend of semi-sweet and milk chocolate chips, and that's what I'm using today. Now we are going to stir everything together until all of these add-ins are well incorporated and we have a nice, a nicely combined, I don't know if I'd say uniform dough. Just wanna make sure you have everything nicely combined, so make sure you're scraping the sides and bottom of the bowl, just so you don't have any batter sitting down there that doesn't have oats and coconut in it. Okay, one thing I love about this recipe is that I never need to chill it, so we can go ahead and grab ourselves a parchment paper lined baking sheet, and I like to make these nice big cookies, so I'm going to scoop I'd say about two tablespoons. This is probably closer to two and a half tablespoons of cookie dough. We're gonna drop this on our baking sheet. So as you can see, if you just drop it on your baking sheet, there are a lot of add-ins. The, the dough kind of tries to fall apart a little bit. So I like to just use my hands to kind of shape it into a ball. And it's going to be sticky because the dough's kind of wet. So your hands are gonna get a little bit messy, but I like to just do it this way. Just makes the cookies look a lot nicer when they do come out of the oven. Because these are such big cookies, I do like to just very lightly flatten them as well. This helps encourage them to bake evenly. All right, let's take these over to our preheated oven where they're going to need to bake for about 12 to 14 minutes or, or until they are beginning to look a light golden brown color. Now, if you guys have watched my other cookie videos before, you will know this is one of my favorite tricks. Once the cookies come out of the oven, while they're still hot, I like to take some extra chocolate chips and just gently nestle them onto the top of each cookie. This is not necessary, but for one thing, it adds extra chocolate, and for another, it just makes the cookies look nicer, like kind of gives them that bakery style feel. These cookies are fragile while they're warm, so you're going to want to let them cool completely on the baking sheet before you enjoy. And that is how you make these incredible cowboy cookies. I hope you guys enjoyed today's recipe, and if you try this one out, please leave me a comment and let me know what you think. I always love hearing from you. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Zach is missing out.